if a film can make you laugh, cry, feel joy, feel anguish, feel sorrow, feel jubilant, if a film can bring out every single emotion in you, it's a great film. My name is Julian Kane, and I'm doing a review on Spike Lee's new movie, Chirac. No two people can go into the same film and have the exact same feeling from that film. We all have different frame of references. When we see films, we don't leave our prior knowledge at home. We don't leave our prior experiences at home. We take them with us when we go see that film. There won't be any spoilers in this review. Um, but to me, Chirac is an extended metaphor of gang violence in any black community. Straight out the gate, I was completely invested into all the characters. Um, Nick Cannon's character of Chirac, like, I took him as Chirac. A troubled black man growing up without a father, subject to gang violence, um, sub subject to street violence. I didn't think of no Nickelodeon. I didn't think of being a teenage rapper. He wasn't Nick Cannon to me. Like, he was Chirac. Women played such a powerful role in this movie. I can see people saying that, oh, this is a misogynist movie because the women are hypersexualized. But I feel in the media, black women, Latino women, really all women are viewed as subjects to men. They're only used as pretty much objects. Tiana Parrish, who was the main character, was beautiful. She used her sexuality as power. And women have so much power in their sexuality, it's, it can stop wars. And that's kind of what this, this movie is about using the power of women. So I guess in the war of black on black violence, this film, it really hits home. The scene is, is based in Chirac or Chicago, but it can really be any black neighborhood in the USA, you know? And I, I really enjoyed how Spike Lee and Kevin Wilmont like, they paid homage to our fallen soldiers in the struggle. You know, Sandra Bland, Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, people that have died over senseless acts of, of murder. I really respect Spike Lee for, for putting them in this film. They'll, they'll never be forgotten because this film is, is timeless. Like, this film is going to be watched 20, 30 years from now and studied in, in film rooms. The movie was full of constant surprises. Like, it took me back to uh, school days. It flows, you know, the everything that somebody says, it has like a poetic flow to it. it was probably because Chirac is partly based on a Greek comedy. Not sure which one. So you do the research on that. I appreciated that writing. Another thing that surprised me that the movie was extremely funny. Like I've never seen a Spike Lee movie that had me dying laughing like that. The movie Spike Lee's made so many greats. I think it's made my top five though. Malcolm X, my all time favorite movie. Number two would be Miracle on St. Anna. Three would be Jungle Fever. Four would be Chirac. And then five, he got game. I would say all together, the film was excellent. I encourage you to go see the movie. Whatever preconceived notions they may have about Spike Lee, I want everybody to like remove it and see the film. See it for yourself, you know, judge it for yourself and see the good, see the bad in the film. It's not a movie for black America. It's not a movie for black women. It's a movie for everyone. Spike Lee is one of the greatest filmmakers. I honestly feel Spike is going to be one of those artists who are cherished more when they're dead than while they're alive. In multiple interviews before I saw the film, 
I heard Spike Lee say, we're trying to save lives with this film. Spike, you will save some lives. Peace. Two fingers. Wake up.